Right, so if you've ever looked at paddle boards before, you would be familiar with the brand Bluefin. This is one of their new kayaks. They're new to the kayak game. So this is the Bluefin Ranger. They also do a, a single person version. Drop stitch base and hard size sides. The whole thing is four PSI. So four PSI for the base, four PSI for either side. Uh, first things first, should we take it out on the water? Yep, can do. Have a go. This isn't the first time we've used it. It's probably the second or third time. Third time. Yeah. Third time, yeah. So um, we'll, we'll we'll swing back to the first time, but um, let's have a look anyway, get it out on the water. So one of the first things you'll notice about this boat when you actually get it is that the chairs are quite different to other chairs in other boats. These have got like a really, really high back. They're really padded on the bottom and they're really really comfortable the support is really different compared to the other kayaks and canoes that we've been in it's good I absolutely feel, amazing isn't it I've, i mean i've got plenty of padding on my bottom anyway naturally but these these are probably the best kayak seats i've ever sat in i'm not just saying that it's just like it's really really comfortable i we, just just note now that we we didn't buy this ourselves this was sent to us for review from bluefin we're under no obligation to say anything nice and uh, by, it's by, by no means a perfect boat but the seats are absolutely phenomenal yeah it's not just us that think it we lent it to a friend as well and he's had a go and he was same just thought it was absolutely brilliant seat wise so as Zoe's just said we've lent this to a friend um, today and surprisingly this paddles and glides along the water nearly as well as our aqua marina tomahawk canoe which is quite surprising because you don't normally expect it from such a, a wide tube sort of sided kayak they're normally quite sluggish in the uh, thing but you, ju you just stop paddling a minute Zara, and uh, you'll see it just keeps going and going which is really surprising for a, for a kayak of this nature so and i think partly that's due to the how you know solid the sides and the floor are Now, I'm going to have to show you this because Zoe can't because she's not got a seat in front of her, but the back of the seats have got a, a pocket there. You, I mean, you can't stick anything big, but we put our, our cameras in there. Safe, same on the back of both seats. The sides have got holders for the paddles, which make it extremely useful. So if you are portaging or something, oh, there's a boat coming. Let's, let's get to the side. Uh, but yeah, lots, lots of attachments and D-rings and all sorts, really. So we're... Uh, good for good for fastening things on with one of the things that's really good is stability because it's got like the blow up sides you know the tubular sides it's actually really stable so you can move it around rock it and you don't fall out <laughs> which is you struggle a, to tip this over wouldn't yeah you? so you'd be ideal for like a beginner's boat because you really can't tip it over it's it's very good very sturdy and probably white water as well because the, yeah. the good thing about this just past the camera is uh, if you do fill it with water you've got drainage holes either side there and whilst we're on the subject drinks holders so i'll just pass you back to zoe to think she's got a bottle in her yeah this is a really cool feature look at this so what you've got is like a neoprene case so you just wrap around your bottle like that and then it just sticks onto the velcro that's on the bottom like that so you can move it anywhere you want and it's just handy you can get hold of it dead easy right so before we talk about some of the features and some of the things that we don't like about the boat i mean there's plenty of things we do like but there is some things we don't like we're just gonna you know run through a quick unboxing and show you what you do actually get when you you know when you get one of these so first you get the carry bag rucksack quite a nice rucksack actually it seems well built um, you get the drop stitch floor which is separate in this you've got the drinks holders and the waterproof phone case you've got the repair kit and the tools you've got the high pressure pump and you've got two skegs you've got two sets of kayak paddles the two high back seats and the kayak itself so in the theme of an 80s game show i'm gonna get zoe <laughs> to show some of the features of the, of the kayak yeah here we go so we have two pockets this one obviously is mesh so non-waterproof but you can fit 
can't think of what you'd want to put in there quite frankly but you may want to put something in there but the second one is much more useful really big pocket this one is waterproof with a waterproof that's, seat that's as well that's massive isn't it yeah. it covers that, that is massive it actually goes right, right back we put to our, the hole of here yeah we put our phones in yeah, there yeah we do put our phones in there we've got all the bungee under there as well so that's really is... good yeah you've got bungee this end and you've also got bungee at the far end as well Ooh. so plenty of sort of places to put things so something else with this is not only that bungee but you've also got additional you know yeah, d-rings D -rings. Yeah. you've got a mount for like an action camera on the front there which will you know a lot of people want handles now these handles on the front and back are adjustable so if you pull the neoprene back they've got velcro so you can so if i'm just getting sorry to to part it there so you can actually adjust the you know the length, the length of the handles which is something i've not seen before as you said, drinks holders, they're actually quite good for keeping your beer cold. Oh yeah, because I've been near Preen, they are, yeah. You've got a reasonable amount of space under there. I mean, I can sit with my legs outstretched and they just come to sort of just under there. So you can fit things like underneath the front and it's the same again at the back. You can slot bags and things like right underneath into the back as well. Yeah, plenty of, you know, attachment points. But something I do want to note about the D-rings, and, and again, this is something that's probably... Uh, not something I'm you know extra pleased about is look d-ring so when there's two people in the kayak and there's seats and I think it does say on the instructions that you should, these are attachment points for the seats it's it's bending them like that I mean yeah I mean you could put more attachments like that bluefin but that that is something to note that you know the seats attached to these it's it does pull them apart so not ideal but the idea of these reviews is so manufacturers can learn from you know people using them and if there's any faults to them so um yeah seats very comfy aren't they and these uh, are lovely seats yes and they have an inflatable base so it raises you off the off the deck yep they are they are quite high up really and, and that back support you can see that he just stands up by itself really really good back support it's one of those things you can actually lean on rather than some way you just kind of don't really lean back too much these you could fully put your weight on them and just lean back if you want to yeah most most sort of supportive uh, i mean where, how we've got it set up at the minute i don't think it's going to cause you any issues but if you do have kit in the back i mean we have camped with this and um, in fact let's let's go back and just rewind a few weeks and see what our impressions are the first time we use this first impressions well it's really hard to, to be honest i'm not sure that's the kayak's fault but we had a headwind and you know a strong head current as well um, and the seats were quite quite close together and we had it loaded up to full capacity with all the camping gear so um, <laughs> we like to test things to the max <laughs> saying that they have to say the seats on that particular one are probably the most comfortable we've ever sat on like the back support is really really good on them as well it's been it was it's been like 26 to 28 degrees yeah. whilst we've been away and the, the boat has been sat in the sun the whole time i'm hoping now it just doesn't go bang but <laughs> it seems okay and i wouldn't normally do that but we're, we're trying to we're trying to test this one to the extreme really in what we do uh, and sand in salt water is very abrasive as well so uh, yeah so far it's it's, it's fair and okay so yeah it, that was a bit of a tough trip that one it was very hard conditions and hence why we've come out on calmer water just to uh, you know, give it a fair trial give it a few weeks use and uh, one of the features that we really like about this that is different is these velcro bits for actually putting the paddles on so you can rest your paddle along there velcro them on that does make it really easy for carrying the boat because a lot of the time you stick your paddles in you carry the boat between you and they fall out or you're having to carry them in your other hand that is actually ideal it's a really useful feature right so a quick look at the paddles they are I believe fiberglass they're, they're kind of like a f carbon fiber effect really nice paddles and they are adjustable so i've adjusted them there that's the shortest length and then that's the longest length uh, yeah no no issues with the paddles whatsoever they seem nice and strong they're light they float as well and they don't drip too badly either so should we flip her over yep. onto the other side and have a look at the bottom so yeah two two big skegs and you think yes yeah, skegs are all the same but they're not the good thing about these is they don't snag the weed They're given the shape of them some skegs come right down like a shark's fin and they snag every weed that you go over these seem to sort of you know 
just brush them out of the way and that, that is a good thing it's something you you don't always appreciate until you've used a few different boats with different shapes skegs or paddle boards and things like that another thing is they actually slide into there very easily like we found a lot of them don't and you're having to like really push and shove to get them in these just slide in dead easy really nice that they go in and out so easily all right so yeah, yeah. They, they do literally some of you like oh, some of them we actually put our feet on and push them in with our feet because they're that <laughs> stiff these are very very easy to do and you've also got the drainage holes at the bottom so if you are doing white water you can you can unscrew the drainage holes and it just drains out the bottom yeah that doesn't mean you sink it just means that you know the excess water drains away water tell i'm from lincolnshire can't you <laughs> so um, yeah just flip it flip it back up there so this is the high pressure pump that the kayak comes with and it's quite good because it, it, it you know it packs down small it comes with the elastic so even the shape of that fits the contour of that so if you are packing it in the boat with you it doesn't take up you know doesn't take up as much room which again something we appreciate handles again our screw on just like that now something I want to mention about this pump so the boat is a four psi boat and the seats I think they're about one and a half psi but you can't tell when you know in between zero and four psi you, you can't tell how high you need to do the seats to be honest i'd blow them up by mouth and when they're firm enough that's fine but it's only just got four psi for the boat on there so it would be nicer to see a bit more accuracy at the lower end of the scale but apart from that no no issues with the pump it does come with the adapters you need and you know it's it's a pump like any sup pump or other uh, drop stitch kayak pump yeah so that's uh you know just a quick look at the bluefin ranger kayak like i say they do a single man version solo version whatever you want to call it but just bear in mind the floor of that is not drop stitch like this i mean this is only a four psi drop stitch which you know it's hard enough if you if i just get zoe to stand in the middle there you, you, you'll get an idea <laughs> we'll try yeah, that again zoe yeah, don't, don't put your leg through the chair arm yeah so if zoe stands in there you can see she's not you know she's not particularly sinking and that's handy when you're getting in from the bank oh it's very easy isn't it getting in and out of the boat it's so easy with the drop stitch floors because it's like standing on a, a completely solid floor like you would at home so if you get you know if you get one of the cheaper ones you, you sink and yeah. you, you're scared about going through the bottom yeah, so yeah, uh, these are very very good to climb in and out of right so yeah that's just a few of our thoughts on the bluefin ranger yeah it's, it's a good boat you know it's a solid boat it's comfortable it's easy to get in and out of do have to keep an eye on those d-rings obviously that's kind of a little bit of a problem that you need to keep looking out for all the time but otherwise yeah we like it as a boat yeah it tracks well it's stable yeah. solid i think it'll last a while but like like zoe said those d-rings i mean i think you'll be all right if you if you avoid mounting the front of the seats to them we we put a load of kit in the back we and we took it out in adverse weather so we did probably um stretch it to the limit stretch it to the limits do, yeah, yeah that's something i quite often do stretch it but anyway <laughs> thank you for watching and um we'll see you on the next one yeah hope this was useful for you <laughs>